Hey guys, what's up? It's Leftist here. So, how are you guys doing actually? How are you? I'm, I'm good. Thanks for asking. But um, what I actually have thought of is a new video series. So, a new series that I can do on the channel. It requires your input, your communication with me. And it is called Let's Talk. So, this new series, it can be about anything. So, it can be about any question, it can be about any topic. That's what I'm, that's what I want with this. So, it has a it has a versatility that you guys can put input so you guys can send me questions in my inbox can comment on videos about what ideas opinions I may have about things but it can be about anything really so first topic that I'm thinking that I'm gonna start it off with is it is going to be ready for it I'm not sure if you're ready it's about my opinion on Miss Pandaria and how it is going one month and a week and a bit into its release so I'll put that topic right there so you guys can clearly see what I mean. Um, so let's start with my opinion. Although it is very early in a MMO's release in the expansion, so month, that's nothing because usually the expansion goes for like two years, I think Cataclysm did and Breath of Leech King. So it is very early, early days in regards to that, but I feel that, um, it is actually doing well. There's a lot of new content and a lot of work that Blizzard has put into the into the game, into the gaming gaming systems really, like into the whole loot, into the whole raid finders. They've actually really had to change it, but there are a few downfalls, but I'll get onto that later. But more things that I like is I do like the new battlegrounds, they are fun and different compared to just the awesome gold the A B, A B all those ones that we've been playing for the last four, five, seven years, if you've been playing that long. But that's also a thing I like about it. I like that there is that consistent gameplay. There is always, you're always going to be able to jump on for like half an hour and you're going to be able to do a battlegrounds and all that. There's no really big variancy in that. But one thing I do like, do actually don't like, is raiding. Although, like, since I'm a bit of a casual player at the moment with my university, and I also do this um, channel. It is hard to, t to find time to actual, actually gear up in heroics and gear up in looking for raids and gear up in raids. And it's hard to actually get get a footing in that if you haven't got a guild or yeah, like that's what I find would be hardest. So that's why PvP is what I like because it's very simple. You can put a bit of time here and there. And the more time you play, the better gear you'll get, and probably the better outcome you'll get when you battle other people. But that's okay with me. I like this. I like that sort of game. I like having this progress. Do you know how like you work something really hard for, and you actually you have something to look at, and you're like, oh yeah, I got this. I got this new chest piece today, and like you're like, oh, this is awesome, and you're just like, yes. Like you feel like you've actually accomplished something, but in reality, you actually haven't accomplished anything in your life. But that doesn't actually matter, because yeah, you actually have fun doing it. That's, that's the main thing, like, wow has this journey. You level your character up, even though it may be boring, you build this attachment with the character, and if you actually roleplay, you build this attachment with your with the character's personality and all that, but I'm not a roleplayer. And that's the good thing about an MMO, I find, is that that, it, that chance actually commit to something long term and actually see it grow, evolve, see yourself evolve actually and the way you think about the game, the way you see different mechanics work and the way you can exploit it if you're like that, if you're a swifty that finds every exploit ever invented into the game. And that's what, yeah, that's basically one of the reasons why I play WoW is because I do like this evolving thing that you can do in your spare time. And I like how the world actually evolves, which is a good thing about Miss Pan about Miss Pandaria. We found this whole new continent that's got these pandas everywhere, and that's really fun. There's there's good like good chance that you're actually going to enjoy this, even though there's a lot of haters saying it's Kung Fu Panda. No, Pandora and Law was in 2003 or something, and pandas came in at like 2007. But yeah, that's the good thing about Miss Pandaria is I like that. Even though it may not draw draw many new players, it has kept the old ones. And there has been a boost in subscribers, which is a given when a new part of the game comes out. But yeah. So now we'll talk about the, um, what I hate about 
what dislikes I have about Miss Mandaria is it mainly revolves around PvP and also getting into ranks, which I agree with. So, PvP, we all know the big thing MMR. So, the, the rating that gear, uh, labels you as what type of player you are in, in your playing skills and gearing and stuff. So, that thing we all know that didn't get reset, and although a lot of people are saying it should have been reset, personally, I find that. Um, it's just going to cause the whole problem, whole thing again. Like, you're just going to get a few mismatched games. So, like, since you've reset the MMR, that means that the Gladiators are going to be playing with the, um, like, the 1100 people in a few while, in a few weeks. Then, then the rating's just going to get established again. Even though you may think that you're going to be able to get high, you, it's really hard to actually get high, which I find is a problem. So... Also, this also touches on the people in the game, which are mostly idiots, I'm gonna find. So, what happens, like, if you wanna progress, it's really hard to progress in WoW, so everybody's looking for a 1500 plus, or a 1700 plus, or a 2200 plus. And if you haven't got that, you're not gonna get in, and if you can't get in anywhere, your rating's not gonna go up. And that's, it just, you just get stuck in this thing, and that's what I find WoW needs to, because it needs to be. Cause chance to be able to progress your character at, at max level where it's very very hard to same with raiding so if you haven't got the gear you don't get in and you can't get better gear because you can't raid and it's just it's just this vicious cycle where you can't where you can't progress anymore and that's that's where blizzard probably loses a lot of subscribers due to this fact that you have to be a it's Let's just say it's beneficial to be an avid player rather than a casual player in these MMO games. That's that's the main idea of that's the main vibe that I get of MMOs at the moment. Like Call of Duty, you don't have to put a lot of time in to be able to be successful. Whereas WoW, Star Wars, and Guild Wars, a lot of time is needed to be successful, and that's it. Can be frustrating for those casual players, and it can be frustrating for myself personally. If you guys are frustrated, let me know, and hopefully Blizzard has some way of getting around this, but I don't think it's coming too soon, and I don't think it'll ever come, actually, personally. But, um, that's, yeah, it's a bit frustrating, you know what? But that's basically my view on Fendaria and how it's going. In the first month of Cataclysm, also, not Cataclysm, Miss Fendaria, but also the balancing. Like, so we all know Hunters, OP, Warriors, OP, a lot of classes OP, played right. And that's usually just stacking all your CDs into one macro. But, um, also, I was throwing the patch notes today. Do you know how Hunters, how they can do tons of damage in Arena because of their pets? Is because the Hunters' pets haven't received their debuff in Arena that gives them, so they don't do so much damage. So the, that's the, that's the error of it, but, yeah. We'll see what happens. I haven't done Arena in a while. I've been very busy. But, um, let us know what you think in regards to the, in the, in regards to the topic of how's Blizzard going with Miss Mandaria in the first month and a half. And I look forward to actually seeing your feedback and all that. So, please actually help. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Earth Shield. I can't do <laughs>